Fort Bend is one of the fastest growing counties in the nation. The Fort Bend Chamber of Commerce seeks to support that growth for the benefit of the community. Chairman Stuart Jacobson introduces us to the group. The Fort Bend Chamber of Commerce is an organization that is made up of businesses. It is organized to serve businesses in the community. But by serving businesses in the community, we just don't focus on businesses. We really focus on uh, serving the whole community at large. Because we promote business in the county, uh, business in the county it equals growth, it equals jobs, it equals property values. But there are other subtle ways that you may not think of when you think of a Chamber of Commerce. There's uh, the advocacy that we do for education. We have leadership programs in the, in the Chamber where we help to really create the leaders of the future, business leaders and community leaders. We have a not-for-profit leadership program where we actually help to create better leaders for our charitable organizations, of which there are very many in the county. We have a healthcare uh, division. We have a, um, an infrastructure. We have an economic development division. We have divisions that are meeting constantly, and everyone who is a chamber member is invited. And you don't actually have to be a business person. You just have to be a member of our community and willing to get involved, and you can join the chamber on your own. One of the Chamber's most active committees is infrastructure, which holds a summit annually on this important topic. Infrastructure is the basic services, public services, that allow uh, the public to survive, uh, improves the quality of life, um, and, and allows us to go about our daily lives. Uh, it includes uh, things such as roads, uh, bridges, uh, levees, uh, drainage facilities, water, water treatment and water uh, distribution, uh, power, elect electricity, telecommunications, all that forms uh, the infrastructure that we use to go about our daily lives. Right now, Fort Bend County, their biggest challenges are all based on the amount of growth, economic and population that is occurring uh, within the county. Uh, according to the 10,000 or the 2010 census, uh, the population of Fort Bend County was about 580,000 people, which was a 65% growth over the year 2000. So the issues that you're having is that to handle the population and the economic growth, you need to have additional development, housing, uh, residential, multifamily, uh, as well as the businesses that go along with that. Well, in order to support those businesses, you have an existing rotor system or an existing uh, uh, water infrastructure system. And what happens with that population is that puts a strain on the existing uh, facilities that may have been, been designed when Fort Bend County was a much more rural county. So not keeping up with those systems to improve it as the growth occurs uh, threatens people's quality of life, their safety, uh, increases the possibility of flooding, property damage. So it has a severe impact. It can have a severe impact on uh, people's lives. County Judge Robert Hebert was the opening speaker at this year's Infrastructure Summit. He believes that every citizen can become educated about the issues and make their voice heard. All of our major cities in Fort Bend County have websites. Uh, and on those websites, they post the agenda of the City Council, they post the agenda of the City Planning Commissions, uh, and they post uh, detailed information on projects that they're contemplating doing. We do the same thing in Fort Bend County. Uh, you can go to that website and you can you can look at all our mobility projects, where they are. We have a regular mobility report on there. You can look at, uh, you can get notices on state hearings, the state, on the state highway system. They, they will announce their public hearings through the county. We post them on that website. Uh, and the best way to do it is come to those hearings, come to those meetings, listen. If you don't have anything to add, listen and understand. Uh, as, you, as you gain knowledge of what we're doing and how we're trying to solve the problems, you'll find it you very much well might have something to add or there might be a question you feel needs to be answered. And that's the input. If we don't get feedback from the community, we're really working in a vacuum and that can be detrimental. So we appreciate that, positive or negative, we appreciate the input. For more information about the Fort Bend Chamber of Commerce, visit their website at www.fortbendchamber.com. For Stafford CSI, I'm Stacy Hawkins.